Hello everyone. Welcome back to yet another episode of Med Surge Mentor. Nephrons are the functional unit of the kidney and their principal functions are filtration, reabsorption and secretion. Today let's see the disease condition nephritis which comes under urinary system. Definition of nephritis. Nephritis is a condition in which the nephrons that is the functional unit of the kidneys become inflamed. Major etiologies of nephritis are infectious agents such as streptococcal bacteria, toxins, autoimmune disorders such as systemic lupus erythematosus, bacterial endocarditis, viral kidney infections, HIV, vasculitis, and sclerotic conditions such as high blood pressure and diabetic nephropathy. Common risk factors of nephritis are a family history of kidney disease and infection, having an immune system disease such as lupus, taking too many antibiotics or pain medications, and recent surgery of the urinary tract. Pathophysiology of nephritis Due to etiological factors, there is injury to the kidney structures such as glomeruli, which disturbs the glomerular structure. This triggers the inflammatory cell proliferation and due to this glomerular blood flow is reduced. It results in reduced urine output and retention of waste products. Gradually, RBCs leak out of the damaged glomeruli which is called hematuria. At the same time, there is increased excretion of protein from the kidney which is called proteinuria. Also, fluid retention occurs in such patients due to activation of renin-angiotensin-aldosterone mechanism. Next is types of nephritis. There are mainly three types of nephritis and they are interstitial nephritis, pyelonephritis and glomerulonephritis. In interstitial nephritis, the spaces between the kidney tubules become inflamed. On the other hand, in pyelonephritis, there is inflammation in kidney usually due to a bacterial infection. And glomerulonephritis means there is inflammation in the glomeruli which are the tiny clusters of capillaries that transport blood. Now let's move on to the clinical features of nephritis and they are pain in the pelvis, pain or a burning sensation while urinating, a frequent need to urinate, cloudy urine, blood or pus in the urine, pain in the kidney area or abdomen, swelling of the body commonly in the face, legs and feet, vomiting, fever and high blood pressure. Diagnostic measures done to rule out nephritis are physical examination, urine analysis, x-ray, blood tests such as blood urea nitrogen and creatinine, CT scan or renal ultrasound and renal biopsy. Important managements of nephritis are intravenous antibiotics, correction of electrolytes such as potassium, sodium and magnesium, loop diuretics, calcium channel blockers, dialysis, adequate fluid intake and treatment for underlying conditions such as systemic lupus erythematosus. Common complications of nephritis are 
acute kidney failure, chronic kidney disease, high blood pressure, and nephrotic syndrome. Major preventive measures of nephritis are seek prompt treatment for streptococcal infection, avoid intravenous drug use, follow safe sex guidelines, control high blood pressure and blood sugar, and treat the underlying conditions. Nursing diagnosis for patient with nephritis are altered urinary elimination related to decreased bladder capacity, activity intolerance related to weakness, excess fluid volume hypovolemia related to renal damage, risk for infection related to decrease in the immunological defense, imbalanced nutrition less than body requirements related to anorexia and nausea, risk for impaired skin integrity related to edema and pruritus, and impaired thermoregulation hyperthermia related to altered defense mechanism secondary to infection. Nursing cares for patients with nephritis are monitor intake output and blood pressure, prevent infection, maintain bed rest, assess breath sounds, monitor urine characteristics, encourage sustained deep breaths, sodium and fluid restriction, encourage small and frequent diets, and encourage diaphragmatic breathing. So far, we have discussed regarding nephritis, which is the inflammation of nephrons. We have also seen its causes, types, pathophysiology, clinical features, diagnostic measures, management, prevention, nursing diagnosis, and nursing care. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.